What's up, y'all? It's your boy LB, man. Good win for us, good win for us. Two game winning streak, man. Now we play the Bucks, I believe. It's gonna take good defense to beat them, and our starting five gonna have to play really good. Reggie Jackson's gonna have to step up and play really big. Uh, but man, this game here—you can't really take too much from this game, man. We basically playing a bunch of D leaguers in this uh, in this game, man. All them players is with the assumption of Okafor and Noels have been had have played in the D league at some point in their career, man. So you can't really take too much from this game, Reggie Bullock. You can't take you can't take too much out of that game, man, because he he comfortable when you are playing against a bunch of D leaguers. I mean, look what he do when he playing the D league. He put up thirty two points, put up twelve points. Put up 15, 20 points here and there and shit. But when he, when, he, when that real NBA team come around and they got some real NBA players on there, he tends to miss a lot of shots, tends not to hit the rim, tends to get beat all the time. But, hey, you got to congratulate the guy. He came, he played, um, he hit some shots, man. He got a career high, 16 points. He did all right. Dar uh, Hillert, Darren Hillert, I like him. I see a potential. I see... I see a future for him in the NBA. He has to get confidence in his shot, man. He has to just be out there with a lot of confidence. He be thinking a lot, man, which leads to turnovers or bad decisions, man. And his defense is kind of off, man. He always trailing from behind instead of putting himself in a better position to guard guys. And he play off a little bit, man. He play saggy all off and shit, man. He just need to tighten up his defense. He'll be all right, man. He's going to make mistakes here, rookie. But he just need to play with that confidence because I believe he can be a great shooter. He can shoot with either hand in this league, man. Steve Blake. Oh, man. Fuck Chicken Little, that nigga look like scrambled eggs out there, man. This guy, with them weak ass behind the back passes, turning the ball over. Look like he having a stroke when he trying to shoot. The guy is just horrible, y'all. I, I mean, I liked this Steve Blake five, seven, eight years ago. Because he could score and be clutch. But right now, it's just not the time. I was kind of holding my breath when he got to hop it up and down. And shout out, oh shit, we ain't got no backup. Oh shit, here we go again. For some reason, man, bad luck hitting the Pistons right now. That's why I say if they don't make the playoffs, I ain't going to be that mad, man. Because we still had a good season. I do believe we're going to finish with more wins than we had last year and shit. But I think next year is going to be our year, man. We just need a full team, man. We haven't had a full team in so long, man. We need a full fucking team and a full roster, man. But if we do make it, I'd be happy and shit. Um, like I say, Andre played good. He had 12 and 18. Reggie had a good game. KCP, he didn't really score big, but he had a good game early on. Tobias Harris looking good for us, man. He looking good. He's he pretty much looking automatic when he go to the hole, man. The guy can score in the paint outside. Marcus Morris had a good game, distributing the ball, scoring. He did a lot of other things that we're gonna need from him. We're gonna need that playmaker, another playmaker than Reggie Jackson. Cause Reggie Jackson, dog, in this game, he could have had easily 15 assists, man. But he he was passing up on a lot of. I don't know why he do that. He passed up on a lot of. Like they was running in the transition. He could have easily got the ball to KCP for a layup, but you know what he did? He threw it to the corner and shit, and it became a turnover. Like you missing, you you passing up on good open shots and easy buckets to get a hard bucket. Like what the fuck is wrong with you, man? That should be pissing me off. Like dog, you don't you don't want to get no assist, nigga, because your assist is really down this year, and it's haven't you haven't got over ten, uh, a ten, you haven't had a ten assist game in so long. If you didn't have one this season, like come on, man, you could you could do better than that on that. On that aspect of the game. But I like how they came out, man. You could tell when they first came out, they went BSing with this team. They went for them to play with this team and allow this team to be in the game at the end of the game. They, they came out and pretty much, like, jumped on them from the, from the get-go. And I like that. We're going to need to do that from here on out, man. If we want to make the playoffs, we're going to have a, whole, a lot of home games. We're going to have to win them games, too. Hopefully, Stanley Johnson don't have to be out for two weeks. Hopefully, it's probably a week or so. We can come back earlier than, than expected. Who knows? But I will be getting back at y'all, what, Friday or Saturday when we play? Who we play? Did we play the Bucks Saturday? So I will be getting back at y'all. I'm LB. Y'all let me know what y'all feel is going to happen. Do y'all feel we're going to make the playoffs? Uh, who y'all liked in the game from last night, even though I really don't take too much out of that game, man? We're playing against a bunch of D-leaguers, man. And they looked disinterested from the get-go. I mean, they just looked bad. They ain't play no defense. Everybody's getting open shots, man. Against teams like Milwaukee Bucks, and you know, that shit ain't going to fly. They're going to play some defense. Um... So we, hey, subscribe to me, like my video. I'm gone. I got to continue finish taking out this damn my hair and shit. I see y'all later, man. Peace.